I found that this is unique. This is different. What Kelvin has developed is an entirely new family of origami patterns that he's called bloom patterns. It's a very apt name because many of them bloom like a flower. I actually folded the first bloom pattern many years ago. When Dr. Lang saw these patterns, he said, I don't recall seeing something like this before. I was speechless. From a scientist and engineering perspective, it's pretty exciting because we've opened a door into a new family of patterns. Really, an, an uncountable infinity of new types of patterns. What they all have in common is that when the pattern is fully expanded, it's flat. If it's partially expanded, it can be somewhat spherical and three-dimensional. But when it's collapsed, everything, no matter how big it gets at the end, collapses into stacked layers above a flat disk. And that's really powerful. So this new pattern has a lot of potential in space. It can be stowed as a compact disk and then deployed into a large array. That's especially useful for things like space structures that where the packing is extremely important. We can make it very compact for launch, deploy out in space. There's a lot of patterns out there waiting to be discovered. This is really the first time where we've discovered in our work a new origami pattern that we're not taking from the origami community. And so it will help us in our origami-based engineering, but it's also new origami, which we've not really done before. I love to do origami, but if I can use origami to make practical applications that benefit the world, that will be um, a dream come true.